Is the ring the marriage? No. It's just a signification to the world as taken, as off the market. <laughs> I'm not available any longer. Hear me. Water baptism is not salvation. Somebody say amen. Amen. How do I know? Because Jesus was hanging on a cross. There was a criminal to his right and to his left. One of the criminals said, you are the son of the living God. Remember me this day. Jesus said, this day you shall be with me in heaven. Amen. You know what he did not say? Get down off this cross. We got to baptize you before you die. Hey. There wasn't time for that. You know what also he didn't say? He didn't say, I'm going to rescue you. You're going to die because you stole that car. So you're going to die. But he said this day, your, 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 your acceptance into heaven is based on your faith of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 says this. Rejoice in the Lord. Sometimes. Well, y'all read a different translation than mine. Mine is the life be life in translation. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I will say. Come on, read it with me. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing. Make that connection. Rejoice always. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God. Mm, surpasses which all surpasses human ability to understand will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus finally brethren whatever things are true whatever things are noble whatever things are just whatever things are pure whatever things are lovely whatever things are of good report whatever things is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy in a war zone I'm not talking about a natural war. There's wars in the natural that begin and those end, but there's a spiritual war and that spiritual war yes. began before you were born and it won't end until Jesus cracks the sky riding on that white horse. It's not yes. a war between good and evil. It's not a war between God and Satan. There is no war between God and Satan. That'd be a quick final victory. The war is between the enemy and you. Why? You, you, ever, you ever say, why well, I got a problem with me? I don't got a problem with them. The reason why the enemy has a problem with you is because you are the image of God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, let us make man, mankind, male and female. Let us make them in our image. One of the problems is the enemy believes in you more than you believe in you. Mm. Can I stop this message for a 10 second Bible study? I'm going to do it anyway. You don't have to say yes. I was just going to do it anyway. I got the mic. Anyway, so here's what happened. In Nehemiah, they had just found, this is sound wild, they just found the Bible, y'all. This was the people of God, the people of Israel, but they had turned their backs on God for so many years. Nobody was even reading the Bible anymore. And they brought out the law of God and they began to read the law. And as they heard the law, they realized how far off their life was from the goodness that God had planned them. And here's what happened when they saw the divide between God's plan and their life. They began to feel sorrowful. And look what the prophet said. He said, don't cry. Don't mourn. This is a time to celebrate. Okay, it's not 10 seconds, but this is a good Bible study. Can I help you out? Anytime church makes you feel worse about yourself, something went wrong. Hear me. God's word was not here to beat you up. God's word was not here to tell you how horrible you are. Whenever you're in the presence of God and you read the word of God or hear a message and you feel worse about yourself, understand that is the enemy condemning you. Mm. God never says, how dare you? He always says there's more in you. God never tears you down. He's always pulling you up to a higher level. So it says this, do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Jesus. The enemy knows if I could steal your joy, I could steal your strength. Yes, that is so true. If I could steal your strength, come on, you ever told, I'm gonna, I was about to go after the teenagers, but I'll leave them alone. Let's go after your spouse. <laughs> You ever told your spouse, okay, you ever told your teenager, I don't care anymore, do whatever? 
Come on now. You ever told your spouse, whatever. You know why? You're out of strength. Strength. You don't feel like arguing anymore. Mm. You're tired of fighting over whatever that is. And that's what the enemy's after. He's like, if I can get your strength, I can take all your fight out of you. Mm. And if I can take all the fight out of you, I can take your kids. I can take your money. I can take your calling. I can take your anointing. The battle is over your joy. It's gone. The problem is there's so many Christians with no joy. Mm. You, you, you've heard me. I love making fun of this song. If you grew up in Sunday school, I always talk about that song. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Where? Down in. You know why they're always saying where? I'm a Christian. I'm full of joy. Where? It's like I can't see it. It needs to be not down in your heart. It needs to be up on your shoulders. Yes. For you. You ever met a mean Christian? We're actually keeping people from meeting Jesus. Pastor, that's all I'm going to say. But I was at Target. And they would not let me return my item. And it was within the 90 day window. It's only 30 days, but you there 90 days later talking about. And I know I had no receipt, but I know they got my card in the computer and they, and I, I, they were trying to do me dirty. I deserve to turn up. Was it worth somebody going to hell over? Cause your niece that was there with you and watched the whole thing go down. Said, well, you keep inviting me to church and you say you got Jesus, but you act just like me. Hmm. So if that's what Jesus looks like, I'm good. I could be angry without him. Hmm. You angry with him. I'm angry without him. We in this. No, Paul said that it should be evident to the world that you've got a joy, that you've got a peace that is different from everybody else. Here's the problem. Life be life in. Hmm. Can somebody say amen? amen? It's easy in church to say have joy. But when you get out of this place and you walk in a drama, it's like, yeah, have joy. But I've got a baby in the hospital right now. You can't really expect me to have joy when I'm fighting for my child's life. Yeah, have joy. I just got fired for somebody else's mistake. You can't really expect me to have joy when I'm suffering and I didn't even do anything wrong. Here's what happens in church. We don't even realize subconsciously. We read things in scripture. We hear messages, but subconsciously we say, ah, that doesn't really apply to my situation. I know Paul said rejoice in the Lord always but if Paul had known the cancer diagnosis I just got, he would know it doesn't apply to me. Come on now. Hey, don't look at me like that. You ever done that before? Pastor preacher about forgiveness. And you're like, whatever. <laughs> if you knew what they did to me, <laughs> you would say, get them back. That's what you would say. We think somehow our situation is an addendum on the verse. Some people think they have joy, but they're fooled. They don't got joy. They've got apathy. There's a difference. Some people think they have peace. They don't have peace. They have victimization. Mm. You don't have peace. You've just surrendered to the situation. Apathy and surrender are not the same as joy and peace. Apathy is uh, whatever. Mm. You know, that's life. I didn't really want that job anyway. Did you want to work at all? <laughs> Surrender is that. People come. People go. Yeah, you ever met somebody that don't get ticked off about anything? They just like, whatever. And at first glance, you're like, man, there's a piece of them. No. They've surrendered all of their life to the enemy. Wow. And they said, whatever you want to take, I'm not going to fight for it. It's not worth it. Hear me. Peace and joy is not surrender to trauma. Peace and joy is not, ah, oh, what will be, will be, case or asura. Matata. <laughs> that ain't nothing but the devil. Peace and joy is, no, 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 no. 
You do not get to take one thing from me that God has promised me. All the promise of God are yes and amen. And I refuse to surrender one inch. But what you're not going to do is you ain't going to stress me out until God comes through. <clears throat> Happy Sunday, you guys. And welcome back to a, another vlog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on, clean these glasses. Y'all, I'm struggling to get rid of this. <clears throat> like the drainage part of the sinus infection. Like, I feel amazing. It's just I still have some drainage that I don't know what that rattling noise is. I got something at the post office, too. Anyway, I'm putting on my summer Fridays this is vegan for all my plant-based baddies this is the beige vanilla y'all I told y'all I'm on my beige bag like this is brown beige which actually kind of matches this perfectly but anyway happy Sunday welcome to another weekly vlog I decided to start today um and yeah so again i'm gonna keep saying it welcome and welcome back to all my harpies you know it is mad love here thank you for continuing to support your girl continuing to keep me encouraged um i love y'all so much and that's on everything if you are new to the channel um thank you for decided to watch this video or if you've been watching other videos and just haven't you know commented or said anything thank you for watching again but with that being said if you are new or if you are a new returning viewer and you have not done so yet go ahead and give this video a thumbs up click the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll never miss any of my videos so, like I said, today is Sunday and I decided to pick up the vlog because I'm on the way to my new studio. I'm hoping to make it there at least the same time. Oh, I gotta make sure I got my keys. Lord, I should have them. Let me see. I'm on the way to the studio because I have an uh, Amazon delivery that's coming. And I know my keys are in here. Lord knows I hope they're in here. <laughs> because I hate to have to get off of this highway and go back to the house. They shouldn't be at the other shop. Lord, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I gotta go back home because they are in my jacket, my rain jacket. Dang, I should have got off right there. Whoa, they got hot. Dang, nabbit. Good thing I got an exit I can get off of. Hey, Hello? I need I need you to do me a huge favor, like right now, while I'm on the phone with you. What's up? Go in my office, and in the on that um, couch, it should be a uh, like a rain jacket. See if his keys inside those yeah. pockets. Okay. Put them in the living room. I'm on the way back. Thank you. I don't even know if I took the right way. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, I probably won't make it there on time. 
a lot of they got hats. I just need to figure out which direction I'm at. Okay. Y'all, it wouldn't be me. Yeah, so hopefully. Well, either way, I have to go over to that side of town anyway. Because my friend is moving and I'm helping her unpack. So, um, the delivery instruction says it should be there by 1.30. But it's also telling me that, am I the next one? It's telling me that the delivery driver has a few more stops to make before me. So, prayerfully, um, we'll get there around the same time. Prayerfully. Because I don't know how the, if the doors are unlocked on Sundays. Because some people work on some, some, some people work on Sundays and some people don't. So, we gonna make this thing work. Look, I got enough gas to detour. So yeah, so I will see y'all either at the new studio or I will see y'all at my friends. Here's the hoping that everything works out. Hopefully, like I said, we'll be getting there. Either I can make it before them or we'll arrive at the same time. And then my friend, she's gonna be at her place until three. So hopefully I can at least get a good hour in to help her out. Uh, she will be there tomorrow and I actually have another delivery coming tomorrow. This is the last one for a while. In which I'm kind of mad because I'm like, I was trying to orchestrate them all together. But this particular one is being shipped by FedEx and not Amazon. So yeah. So hopefully I can leave some delivery instructions for them to just leave it because I really don't want to have to go back out there tomorrow but if I have to I will um, so yeah so I mean you see I'm trying to get over see we riding in the A7 you get that work off on them but you know what I gotta be very careful now with my defensive driving because the road ragers or the um, I'm gonna get you back drivers, because not everybody's a well, that's still be considered road rage, but here lately we've been having a lot of road rage shooting incidents. Um, and what I just did remind me of the most recent one it was um, a car. I don't know if they were almost gonna miss their exit or what have you. But they were getting off on the exit and as they got off the exit another vehicle shot into their vehicle on the passenger side and it went through the window thank god nobody was in the passenger side nobody got hurt just the car but people be like so that ain't even angry they be so controlled by the enemy so anyway my battery's about to die i'll see y'all when I see y'all. Okay, y'all, I made it. They're one stop away. And I'm so glad and thankful to God that I made it because the front door, it is locked. So, <clears throat> let me tell you, God is so good. First, he was good because he allowed me to think about the key before <laughs> I got too far. Secondly, he was good because literally when I got off of 288, or either no, right before I was getting off of 288, it said they had one stop before me and they were on Broad Street. Let's see what it said here. It still says one stop before me, but that's fine. I'm here and I'm going to stay on watch from the doors because he could be coming one of two ways let me show you so this is the main entrance in which you can get to my suite through the main or the side entrance both of them are about the same amount of steps 
So this is the front, and then that's the side door. So that's a good door for me, like, I'm running late. I can just come through that door <laughs> while my class is out here. And y'all see the outside. So yeah, so I'm just gonna stand here and watch both doors until I see the Amazon truck. Um, but these are the two packages. This is my stand for my refrigerator, so obviously I have to put it together. Hopefully, I'll have time. I want to try to be out here by like 1.30. Um, and this is a couple of things that actually have to be mounted. And some of them in the dumped. Um, but I want to show y'all how amazing the light is in here. Look at this. I have a skylight. And the room is still nice and bright. Even when I put these lights on, it just kind of changes the color, makes it more yellow. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. And this does have an automatic sensor on there. But yeah, now it's time to figure out some stuff. So I'm gonna mount y'all up while I um, unbox this stuff that I have. These are for my colors. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look. So I got the brown because the room is black with brown. This is a little bit darker, but I think it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, I need a screwdriver. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to I'm back because I don't have a screwdriver. But it looks fairly easy. I put the bigger one on top, the smaller one in the middle with the gates. Oh yeah. So what I'll probably do since the refrigerator will be coming tomorrow, I might just come tomorrow when the refrigerator comes I don't know if I'm going to make it at the same time um, because with FedEx I guess you just never know but it says not unless I just come work on this stuff I need to mop in here but I don't want to mop like I don't want to clean clean in here until um well, I mean, I probably couldn't want Let me see. Let me just check my FedEx. So it says that my FedEx stuff should be here between 9 and 1. So that's a stretch. So I could come here. Well, it says 940. So I could come and clean and put this together. And because... Y'all, I really would love to put my dryer over here so I can put my TV against that wall because when I work, I'm going to be facing this way. But 
I just don't know how that's gonna work space wise. We're gonna figure out because my desire is to have the refreshments TV, my style and chair. Yeah. We'll figure it out. So until well, I'm going to my friend's house now. I probably won't record over there, but I will check back with you guys. I do need to do my vlog for living healthy over 50. I think I'm going to do that today. But yeah, yeah, it needs to be clean. Yeah, I need to really wipe it out because it's still like some. So that's what I'll do. I'll just come tomorrow and clean and put this together. So by the time that all of that happens, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. Hey y'all, back home. Listen, I thought that I would be done doing everything by three, but one, I misunderstood the text message. Um, it was just saying, <clears throat> so my friend, she moved and she was saying that she had to leave at three but i didn't know that she was like me and the other girl could stay so you know we trying to help a sister out because she got pfft, i love my girl but she got some she's naive okay like and when she came back she came back with more stuff and a whole another vehicle with stuff <laughs> and then she's supposed to be bringing us a mall tomorrow but I actually did not get back home until probably let me see when I text her Hold on. I got home at 742 because I did have to stop and get gas and then the hubs I, you know I try to be you know like you need me to stop before I come home <laughs> even though I be wanting to say no <laughs> but I need to stop anyway because I need some ice and some paper towels and some more avocados but anyway I got gas Stopped the store, got back home. Um, they were eating their snacks, so I'll cook dinner a little bit later for them. I'm not gonna eat. I actually had chicken. <sighs> I know plant based friends, close your ears, close your ears. But you know, she just moved. We had been there. Well, I didn't get there. Well, what time did I got? I think I got there like 1 30. I think her and the other girl was there earlier but <clears throat> you know we was grinding she was like this is the first thing that she saw she wanted to feed us and i was like listen because i already told y'all that i am a circumstantial meat and dairy eater <laughs> what do i mean by that listen when it's in a crunch and your and somebody's providing you the meal you got to do what you got to do. So I'm a circumstantial carnivore. But I'm so mad because I thought I finished my coffee when I left. Well, I came home and and I promise you, like, those weeks of me not having coffee, I've been wanting coffee all day, every day. So I'm not going to drink any coffee. It's 843. That's insane. Even though I can and go straight to sleep. But I have to get up tomorrow. So I'm hoping because the salon will be unlocked tomorrow. So I'm hoping that FedEx will just leave my package in front of my door. That's what my instructions say. Leave in front of the door. So hopefully I'll do that. And then once I get up and get myself together... I get over there because I do really want to mop and wipe down everything tomorrow. Um, and then I may borrow my friend's car to bring my dryer chair there. Then that way it will help me determine how everything else is going to be set up after that. Um, I do. I did get a notification that I got something from UPS. I don't recall anything coming from ups i have not ordered anything the only thing that 
Yeah, I don't know. And then I did order um what you call that? Order a couple things off of T Move for the shop, but that's not scheduled to come. And that's coming here, so I don't know what is at the post office. And it came through my email, so I'm pretty sure, and it said that it's in a parcel locker, so I'm pretty sure it's something. I just don't know what it is. I have no clue. So, depending on how I start my day or end will determine if I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow. Um... But yeah, I'm really hoping in my souls of souls that they just leave it in front of my door. Because that's my instructions. Um, let me see. Deliver instructions. Let me show you what we apply to all packages, not just yours. Deliver to your home. Ugh. It may take 24 hours for the request to be fully. Yeah, because the way I put the order, it says Studio 20. It says, have studios care of hair couture Studio 20. So hopefully they'll bring it inside and just leave it in front of the door. Because I really don't want to get up. Because it says delivery time 940 through 140. I really don't want to get up that early. Like, I want to just sleep, and then when I get up, get up to go do stuff. Because this whole, my, all my off days, I got stuff to do. So, I got that tomorrow. And then, Tuesday, I got my bi-weekly trip to my mom's in the house. I say trip like they live, live out of town, but I try to go see them every other week. Um, and in that trip... It's a win-win because I got stuff that I do while I'm there, which <laughs> this sound bad, but it forces me to stay there for a few hours. <laughs> it's like I can't leave until I'm finished doing what I'm doing. So um, that's why I just go over there every other Tuesday. That way I can spend the time with them, do the things that they need, and get done what I need to get done while I'm there so and then Wednesday I go for my follow up from my surgery hopefully everything is fine um, I've been following all of the doctor's instructions but I feel like tonight maybe a night where I have to risk it all we'll see and I'll let y'all know tomorrow <laughs> But yeah, so I'm actually, my vlog is actually edited, it's uploaded, exported, it's done all the checks, um, all the video quality has been quality controlled. So I could technically post it now because, you know, Sunday is a good day for real. Um, the only thing is, is I have some links that I need to add <clears throat> and I I don't know what links I need to add so cancel save so that's what I'm gonna do right now yeah so that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this up tonight tonight all right you guys I will catch y'all probably tomorrow Hey loves, happy Monday. <laughs> I'm a little bit off because I filmed yesterday, but okay. <clears throat> Ooh. So 
I don't know what I was saying, but anyway, happy Monday. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. As you see, I was trying to show y'all how I was making my rose, vanilla rose latte today, but obviously I didn't hit the button, uh, which for some reason I'm having a hard time hitting the button when I'm supposed to hit the button. But anyway, um, normally when I do my syrups, um, especially when I'm doing syrups that have like more of fragrant type of syrups, like the rose or the lavender, I normally do like half of the rose or half of the lavender and then I'll do a whole tablespoon of the vanilla. I haven't tried it with any other um, syrups. I personally don't like them on their own. They're just too potent for me. Um, maybe I'll try it again. Maybe I'll try to make a hot um, latte. Maybe that'll be different. But anyway, but I did a half a tablespoon of the rose and then a whole tablespoon. So I do a tablespoon and a half of syrup all together. And then I just fill it. I normally do like, because this is like a 13 ounce ish well no i don't even think this is a 13 ounce because i think i put the wrong size on last week's video but i think this is a 10 ounce i don't know it could be 13 i don't know but i normally do like the double shot of espresso and then i do probably like about six ounces of milk um and then i add my ice the key to a good iced latte and this is per, you know, I haven't said her name on here in a long time because y'all know I've been on the plant-based Shaquilla tra um, train. But, Katrina, um, when you're building your latte, because the espresso is so hot, it's recommended not to put ice in the glass and then put your ice latte on top. This is why. And when she said this, it made total sense. If you want to have the full flavor of your latte, put your, and this is lattes, we're just talking lattes, no other Americanos, um, cappuccinos, macchiatos, lattes. You want to put your syrup and espresso in the glass first. To bring the temperature down, you want to add your cold milk. By this time, that hot espresso has been cooled down by the cold milk it's still a little warm but it ain't hot you want to also make sure that you blend in layers so if you have your syrup in your espresso in your espresso stir it all up real good then add your milk stir it all up again or you can wait till after you don't have to but i try to do three spins um three stirs then you add your ice the kicker is once you add your ice, you want to then stir your ice and then you'll start to feel your glass getting cold all the way down to the bottom um, once you stir it. I mean, at the end of the day, you make it how you want to make it, but I tend to try to follow those that specialize in certain things that every time I make what they tell me to make is always a hit. <clears throat> and the only time it may be a miss is if it's a flavor or something that I just don't like. But it always still, even though it's a miss, it'd be a hit. Because like when she said that goat milk, all I could taste was goat cheese. I could not get with the goat milk in my latte. <laughs> but um, that's the way. And look how foamy and creamy it looks. I mean, that's a perfect latte. And like, I like doing the rose and the lavender when I just want a nice mellow latte, when I don't want anything like, you know, sweet or, you know what I'm saying? When I just want chill vibes, but I want my latte. But anyway, so my husband had to take the car, so I'm waiting for him to come back. So I got probably like another 45 minutes before I leave out the house. Um, let me see. Just text me when you're free. I'm hopping in the shower. Okay. Let me check. So the refrigerator that I'm getting um, delivered to the shop is being is out for delivery now. I am hoping that FedEx follows the directions and just leave it in front of the door. Because the way the doors are made, it's got a little indentation. So it's not going to be like a fire hazard or anything. 
Because one, I couldn't get up this morning. After helping my friend move, unpack, move boxes, this little 50 year old body is out of shape. I can't wait till my membership gets reactivated in April. I paused it um, strategically <clears throat> um, for financial reasons. Sometimes you have to make, you know, physical sacrifices. Now, I could have still worked out at home because I do got to um, grow with Joe, but I just been, y'all know, y'all know, I just been all over the place. But anyway, so my body was fatigued. Then, um, y'all know I had a surgery, right? And the surgery put restrictions on certain things. And that's probably half of the reason why I was having marriage woes. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We all married here. Yes, you know. We brought back, you know, the... Mr. and Mrs. Sims playlist. Okay. So we hung out and then we watched a movie. And then, of course, as usual, and Anastasia, if you're watching, you already know, he already saw the movie. I didn't. Therefore, I stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning, which is technically my body is still thinking it's 2 o'clock in the morning because we lost that hour. So I didn't go to bed until like 3 something. And then because I drank a lot of water and kombucha and lattes throughout the day. We only have one of each of the, But I drank the water throughout the day. Baby girl, I be up. I be up. So I think I got out the bed twice so I could use the bathroom. So I really did not get out of my bed until like about 11 and I was hoping once I got out, that's why I'm ready. I was hoping by the time I got up, got ready, he'd be back. But he was like an hour, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But anyway, while I'm here and while I'm talking about my girl Anastasia, um, she was showing how she keeps herself on task by using an app that she downloaded. And I was telling her about a feature that is available on your actual phone. Now, the app that she said, you know, gave it was free. Um, it was called To Do List, List or something like that. And I did download it, and it's super cool. But I was like, well, my app do the same thing. So I was like, let me share that with y'all, cause she inspired me to share how I do my stuff on the go. Because I know I'm a digital planner. However, I don't have my digital planner on my phone because. I use GoodNotes, and GoodNotes takes up so much storage and memory. And being that I already have a limited amount of storage on my phone, I have to find other ways to kind of, you know, it's like I have multiple digital planners now. Like I used to have multiple paper planners. I feel like something is in my mouth. Just like I used to have multiple paper planners, I have multiple digital planners. So anyway, so um, everyone should be familiar with their Reminders app. Sorry if my screen, screen is dirty. So this is my little productivity section. I love Notion because Notion will is the same across the boards. Like, that's the one thing about if you are using GoodNotes on your phone and on your tablet. If you've downloaded fonts, if those fonts have not been downloaded on your phone, it's not going to translate the same. That's the other thing that I don't like. That's why I want to, not right now, and I know I've talked about it before, I really want to get a mini iPad. So once the first quarter is over and second quarter starts, I'm going to start budgeting for it because I just want to pay for it outright off of Amazon. I want to get in the habit of when I want something, I'm going to budget for it, save for it, and purchase it. Um, because y'all know I've been talking about this is the last quarter of last year. And, you know, of course, some stuff trickles over into the new year. That's why I was telling y'all, stop putting so much pressure on 2024. Because some stuff that you had in 2023 has to follow you over. Because those were goals that you were working towards. You just did not complete them. So just because the year is over doesn't mean that you have to delete the goals and create a new one. No, you just carry it over. Just like your to-do list. If you don't do it today, what do you do? Move it to the next day. You don't just be like, oh, I didn't do it. Boo. I'm going to put up on the screen a little screen recording of the actual app 
that I use. Like I said, it is a reminders app and I'm gonna have it on one of these sides and I'm gonna be looking down because I wanna kinda explain what you're seeing as you're watching it. Okay, so I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. What you're looking at is the productivity part of my phone and this is the reminders app. As you can see, it has a plethora of things that you can do. You can do a to-do list. And so this is my list for today. And so I'm basically just adding on some stuff that I need to do. And as you can see, it'll kind of, you know, pull up autofill stuff. Um, you can choose those autofill options or just type your own. As you can see, I'm trying to desperately type out grocery store. Um, and then you can schedule things. Um, so this is me scheduling something for tomorrow, just laundry. And I'm going to go to my mom's. Um, and as you can see, when I put in laundry, because I always type in laundry pods, it's remembering laundry pods. So you can schedule, you know, your to-do. So like if you have in your plan or all the things you have to do, you can go ahead and do it there. And then if you hit all, it'll show everything as a running to-do list. And as you can see, the little pop-ups, I'm just showing where it's tomorrow's things. So if you happen to do all of your today's stuff, and you want to do tomorrow's that's fine and then these are just some extra options you can set a timer on it when you want to have it completed or to remind you when you want it done you can do repeating um, <clears throat> and then you can also you know do a lot of things you can if it's a specific location you can tag the location if it's somebody else that you want to share this task with you can text them and as you can see it'll pull up your list and then you can flag it, make it a priority. You can even change the list if it's something that has to do with your other list that you have on here. As you can see, I'm showing you all my lists. You can do that as well. Um, so now we're going to actually get into my favorite part in my on my list. As you can see, I got a lot of lists. A lot of these I have to delete, and I'll show you how to delete them later. But this is my running grocery list. So as I think of things that I need from any grocery store I just put here I mean as you can see I created a plant-based option and I'll show you how to create the selection um, so what we're gonna do first is kind of change some, some things on here as you can see I have the Kroger ranch powder I consider that a seasoning this considered it the other so as you can see I'm going to tap that eye icon after you tap the word and I'll pick the selection as spice and seasonings and voila it's there <clears throat> And so this is like so amazing. You can create so many lists. I have a Walmart list. I have, um, as you can see, I have a Target list and I have a Trader Joe's list. So basically what I do is from my running list, if it's something that I know I can get from Trader Joe's, I'll just move to Trader Joe's. And then if you tap, tap um, on the list to create a new one, this is how you would create the list. You can actually change the color of the icons, but I didn't just because but you can see the different colors you can choose from so because we do shop at food line I'm gonna make a separate food line tab you can use the preset icons or you can hit the smiley face which is the indicator for the emojis and that just allows you to check your emojis and use one of those I tend to if I can or if I think about it I prefer to use the actual emojis because they just look better like the shopping basket looks so much better than the icon that's already there but tomatoes tomatoes you choose what works best for you um, so once you have set up your list you want to then hit the list type so it's preset as standard if you wanted to select the options you want to hit groceries that way it will kind of be like okay this item goes for this so let's show you how to build that so the first one I'm gonna type on here is chicken breast and it should know that chicken breast is a meat and it does so the next thing I'm gonna type in is um, some jambalaya now jambalaya can be the whole meal or it can be the rice this is just the rice so I have to hit that little once I hit the word jambalaya the little eye comes up it takes me to this edit option and I can go through and see if any of the presets are there. If not, I can make my own, but it does have pasta, rice, and beans. And there you go. You've added the selection. And so the next time you type in jambalaya, it should remember that it is a pasta, rice, or bean. And then I'm going to do juice. It pops up as beverage. And you saw ice cream. It popped up under frozen. So this is where you can go through and remove some things. You just hit those three little dots hit edit tap 
and just hit delete. Um, I'm going to go through this and delete a lot of things because some of these things I don't need anymore. But this is an amazing option to use on your phone instead of trying to figure out what app to look for that's going to work for you because they are some amazing apps and they are some really aesthetic apps um, but as I'm showing you as well you can pull up the all box and it'll show you all the things you have all your tasks you can also look at all your completed items so if it's something that you can't remember if you did buy or complete it's there so I absolutely love this um, if y'all do not use the reminders app to its fullest capacity I implore you to do so if you're already using it to its fullest capacity let me know in the comments I would love to know how you're using it if you are using it as a grocery list and it's breaking it down in categories or if you didn't know let me know if I sh you know share something new with you that you didn't know about but on your lock screen you can customize and add certain things so on here I have um, my reminders that I already have on here um, let's see so in this block I have my reminders and then I also have my affirmation for the day so if I ever so you can actually say you don't want to open up your app you can start checking stuff off it'll let you check stuff off <laughs> it'll let you check stuff right off on here but let's go back and uncheck that <clears throat> but yeah so you can un you know you your to do or your reminder list will come up there and it'll just be your agenda stuff I'm going to drink my coffee because I wasted coffee yesterday. And I, oh, my, my mom was like, drink it real quick. And that's why I had to, I had to like sit up here. But, Lord, child, who knows. So, the first thing that I'm going to do when I leave here, I'm going to hit the bank, hit the post office. Because I need to know what this package is. Listen, it better not be no bill collector trying to send me something. <laughs> Certified mail. <laughs> Cause I'm like, Ugh. but yeah, so I'm just waiting for my husband to get here, and as I wait for him, I am going to edit yesterday's portion of the vlog. Um, I got like 53 minutes total right now, and I'm 19 minutes in editing, and then a lot of this stuff I'll be able to chop out. Cause some stuff I'll be like, Keisha, why is you even saying that? Like, you born yourself. I want to give some shout outs. Now, I have pondered on some things. I'm like, well, I don't want to mention nobody's name, but they comment on my posts and if on my videos. So <laughs> if you see the if you read the comments, you already know. So this is my segment where I want to shout out to my heartbeats that's always keeping your girl lifted and encouraged. Alright, so my girl Anastasia, she's always you know comment and I love that for me and I love that for her because it's very few YouTubers that watch other YouTubers that come in well at least in my realm <laughs> I be commenting on people's stuff they don't even give me a like or a thumbs up I'm like or a heart like I mean you don't gotta respond at least let me know you read my comment like that's a pet peeve for me like even if you can have an editor that's just going through like, like acknowledge that the message was seen. Okay. <laughs> but that's my pet peeve. Um, but shout out to Anastasia. Um, then, and I'm just talk, I'm just talking about last week's vlog that went up, um, on Sunday. Um, plan a girl. Thank you for your comment. And thank you for, um, acknowledging my vulnerability because it is hard to be vulnerable here on this platform because this is forever content even if i was to delete that video somebody has seen it maybe screen recorded it and shared it you know and it was very necessary but it was hard for me to you know kind of incorporate you know me and my husband was having a little you know hiccup but what married couple does it and I will be doing a disservice to what God has called me to do here on this channel. And that's to be transparent when I can be without diminishing somebody else's character. Um, and then my girl Faith Wood, she always be on it. She really, really, really blessed my soul. Um, and some of what she said is stuff that I'm already 
doing or have been thinking about. And that's when you know that God has connected with, with other like-minded people because they be telling you stuff that he didn't already revealed and they're just giving confirmation. Um, but her post really blessed my soul. Um, and then um, Mary is Mary. Welcome to the Heartbeat Squad. She dropped a purple heart in the comments. Welcome, girl, if you're watching. So, yeah, so thank you all for always support me in my comments. You know, we are small in number, but mighty, I tell you. And listen, what, what's that little dude? He was on Instagram. Everybody was, I mean, TikTok. Everybody was using this little um, meme. He was like, One kiss is all it takes. One kiss is all it takes to make you fall in love with me. One comment is all it takes is to keep me going. Because sometimes, you know, I'm human. And sometimes I'm like, you know, God, I know you're telling me to do this. But, like, you know, where's the one sheep? The one. The one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the scripture says, you know, that one sheep, he got 99 still there, but he leaves to go after that one. Because that one, that one is powerful, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what that one looks like for you, but sometimes I be needing that one comment. Or that one new heartbeat to just drop a heart in the comments. So, let me go because y'all know your girl will talk y'all head off. Um, so... Rundown, and y'all already saw it, but, and this is no order. I need to do bank, post office, studio. <clears throat> I'm going to go try to help Calandra for a little bit, because I definitely got to come home today early, because I am so tired, and my body is telling me it's tired. Um, I may or may not go to the store, because I really don't need anything. I want to try to follow Shakela's um, blueprint when it comes to her plant-based meals use what you have um if you don't have anything then go or at least when you're getting to the end of what you have because I'll tend to have stuff like I still got my strawberries in there and I need to take them with me well I gotta rinse them off shoot but I still have my strawberries so I'm gonna put on my to-do list <clears throat> to eat some strawberries today because sometimes you got to have some reminders i'm just saying <laughs> yeah i need to film my living healthy at 50 video because i have a <clears throat> I, I have this um and then y'all probably saw when i went to trader joe's i bought this i think it's teriyaki style um teriyaki style tofu <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to film that tonight. That's why I want to come home early because it'll give me the opportunity to get that done because I don't really like to record late when everybody's home and I know they have practice today, so that'll work even better. I have, um, put wearing my e.l.f. This is the lip oil. This is the, I think, they make this stuff so small, I can't read. I don't know what color this is, but if you click my Target um, affiliate link, I have an option for my lip stuff that I've gotten from Target. Um, yeah, um, so that's it. I will catch y'all at some point today. Um, I will definitely share with you guys what I make. So um, y'all will probably see. Well, I'm still on this. And then I'm going to go because, listen, <laughs> I'm still on my, I'm going to post when I post. It has been helping me limit the mental overload and stress that I was having as well. Because it be hard when you are trying to juggle life and then you have to edit and all that stuff. So that's why I want to get better at editing daily. <clears throat> but... And I need to update my banner and my description. Because I'm not going to, right now, 
me saying upload on Mondays and then do my food video on Fridays is too much pressure on me right now. So I'd rather consistently post something throughout the week than to consistently post nothing at all. So I will catch y'all later. Okay, y'all. So this is from Malibu. So this is a product that I've used, but I have not ordered anything from them. And I don't believe I have a subscription or anything. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is weird. Okay, this is super weird. Hold on. It has my address on here, on the box, but it says ship to Gwen Jackson. That's weird. So I have these at the shop. This is head, but this looks like something different. So I have these, but I have smaller packs. That is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know whether or not to, and I know the light is getting dark. I don't know whether or not to accept that as a gift or if I should reach out to them. How do you have, and I'm gonna go to the bank later because as long as I make the bank by before five, I'll be fine. So, but anyway, so the packing order, this is like, I mean, and <laughs> this is a huge ooh ooh. Because this says that it's sold to Regina Jackson in Manchester, Iowa. <clears throat> and it's shipped to Gina Jackson. Well, I mean, they're the same person. Because it's the same mailing address. But Regina, Gina, da 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 da, tomatoes, tomatoes. So. Yeah, I'm gonna contact, and I know this is filming dark. I need to go pick up some cleaning stuff because I don't have any cleaning stuff um, in my bag. I did everything but bring cleaning stuff. That is the weirdest thing. So I'm like, I know I didn't order anything. Let's check the shipment. The shipment still hasn't arrived. Um, on here it says delivery time by the end of the day estimated between 9 40 a.m and 9 1 40 p.m it's now two o'clock so i don't know i don't know but i feel like there's some wipes in the trunk what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mop the floor first if I don't do anything, I'm going to mop the floor, and while the floor is drying, I'm going to put together the stand for the refrigerator. But anyway, <clears throat> let me go, and I will kind of check in with whatever updates I've done in the suite. I'm not going to record me mopping and stuff, even though I know a lot of people like cleaning type videos. So anyway, so I will see y'all at the studio. Okay, so I put it together. So proud of myself. And this is not unusual for me. I love putting things together. Um, especially when it's, I can just use what I have. So I think this is going to be really nice. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for the refrigerator to get here. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to wipe this chair down. I did find some cleaning solution that my husband has. So we're gonna do that and then 
Y'all, oh my gosh, I am drenched. <sighs> Listen, <clears throat> it's 406. Amazon, I mean, well, FedEx slash Amazon still had it made it. Now, <clears throat> on Amazon, it says by the by 8 p.m. And that's fine. But FedEx, I was giving y'all props. But, y'all, don't be saying that y'all gonna be there between 9.40 and 1.40. Because if I would've got... I'm telling y'all, God be looking out for your girl. If I would've got out the bed... My battery about to die. Hold on. Alright, y'all. I'm back. And yeah, I probably look rough. I had to take that hat off because my scalp is drenched. Alright, I'm just gonna follow these directions. Sorry. Alright, so... <clears throat> yeah, they're not even there. I'm so, so glad that God favors me because if I would have got up <clears throat> and left when I did now I might would have been able to get more done because I probably could have went and got some more cleaning stuff and a broom or I could have went to Coke's house or she could have met me and gave me a key but I got a lot done um, in the time that I had um, the only thing that I didn't do was mop, in which I could not, because, y'all, now, please do not think that I am discriminating, but this is facts, because when I moved into my suite, when I first started at my place that I'm at now, it was a Caucasian hairstylist, so she had Caucasian clients. The girl that was in my room. Now, the chair that I have is a different chair, but still, it won't nothing but white people hair up in there. And when I say it was so much freaking hair, if I can, I sent my friend a video. If I can, if I still have the video, I will insert it. And that was just some of the hair. It was so much freaking hair in the cracks of the seat. Like, do you not wipe out your seats and like I don't even cut that much hair but I'm always wiping out my seats especially like after COVID Lord y'all I hope I have enough gas oh damn it yeah. I gotta get gas I'm gonna still make I got plenty of time I got plenty of time I got plenty of time plenty of time plenty of time but this place is 10 minutes out and I don't know if there's any gas places near where I'm going Oh my gosh, what is this man doing? Oh, child, calm your nerves, Keisha, calm your nerves. But anyway, if I have any Caucasian hairstyles in here, do y'all clean y'all seats? Because it was so much freaking hair in the chair. And then on top of that, because I didn't have no broom to sweep the stuff up, I couldn't mop. I was fit to be tired. And then I ain't had no gloves, so I was like, Ick. So I made sure my hands did not touch the hair, but I'm going to go back through it again and get um, one of those spray things that they use for the keyboards. Hopefully I can get all the extra hair out, but it was disgusting. Like, clean your freaking chairs. All right, <clears throat> I got my gas. Got a full battery on my phone. I'm on my on my. Now, on my phone, I don't know because for some reason, I did not charge my battery. <clears throat> but, yeah, I am eked out. Thank God that he is allowing me to do this stuff as I can. Because if I would have had to come in here a week before moving in, I would have been eked out. So, I'm just like, come on, FedEx. Like, I've been giving y'all mad props. It'd be crazy if as soon as I left, they pulled up. Like, I don't understand. Now y'all changed the time for end of the business day. <clears throat> y'all shouldn't have had no time up there anyway. End of the business day is actually 5 o'clock. I consider that the end of the business day because that's when banks 
take their last deposit. <laughs> Man, I ain't been this way since I worked at Capital One. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'm fit to be tired. Um, I'm hungry. Did I even bring my water? I gotta go back. Cause I left my water. In which it's fine because I have to go back that direction to get home. Cause I'm gonna take the way that I would normally take if I was at the other salon. Because this is rush hour, people getting off from work. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm icked out. That was. I'm like, where's my car at? <clears throat> Pucha. So, yeah. I am going to. <laughs> so, I didn't get to go to Calandra's, in which that's fine. Um, and she's okay with that because I was there really all. Uh, majority of my day yesterday well I can get home this way but I don't like getting on 288 this time of day I do not I do not but yeah oh child so let me go cuz I'm fit to be tired and all I'm gonna keep saying is that I'm fit to be tired because listen no ma'am no ham no turkey I can't like that is so nasty like Hair is ick and like, and it's crazy that as a hairstylist, so my friend Calandra's like this too, but as a hairstylist, I don't like hair that I don't know whose hair it is. Like if it's my client's hair, I, I know my client. But when it's a strange foreign hair, mm, that's ick. Ick, 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 So when I go um, get home, I'm gonna go on my reminder list and add to the stuff that I need for the salon. All right, y'all, so I will update y'all whenever I get to wherever I'm gonna get to, but I definitely gotta get something to eat because I'm exhausted. <clears throat> All right, y'all, so I am at Chick-fil-A. I decided to just get some fries and a drink. Decided to just get some fries and a drink, and I forgot to ask them for a cup of ice. Maybe they'll go back and get me some when I. Well, it didn't give me an option to ask for ice, but because I don't like to get the drink with ice because it's a small drink anyway. Um, but I will show y'all what I got when they come over here. I don't know what's going on with me in this press and record. <laughs> I thought I recorded when I was leaving out Chick fil A. But y'all just saw me grubbing down on my fries with my waffle fries. Waffle fries are my favorite fries, actually. Um, If I could make waffle fries myself, I might would make them. But anyway, I gotta go back to the studio because I left my water. And one thing I'm not leaving is my water. Well, I'll leave the house. If I don't have my water, water bottle, I'll leave the house. But if I have my water bottle with me, I'll treat like I treat my cell phone. I'm going back to get it. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. I am not leaving my water bottle out unchaperoned. And I'm going to always go back for my cell phone. I'll leave my wallet <laughs> at home before I go back and get it. I mean, thank God for, you know, Apple Pay and stuff like that, but still. But yeah. As in the last update, my refrigerator was still out for delivery. Um, Y'all, I'm so tired and so hungry. And then I had to wait a little while for my food. Even though they don't prep, when you do a mobile order, they don't prep it until you get there. But I'm like, all I had was fries and a drink. And see, I, I think the doors lock here at 8 o'clock, so they got to get here before 8. It would be nice if they were, you know, they came, but. Yeah, and y'all, I got a mailbox. So excited. my keys 
I'll be back. Well, I'll let y'all know if it's in there or not. Y'all, she here. She here. Thank God they. Yeah, I don't know how big this is. Let me see if I can unbox this and put it on top of this stand real quick. Hey y'all, here's my refrigerator and it fits perfectly. So I need to get some black. I may have some, but this will be like overflow for water or something like that or chips. I don't know, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I didn't put my wine in here, my waters. I'm gonna do sodas and I may do some juices, but I'm so excited. <clears throat> I'm not gonna plug it up right now because I don't need to. Um, it says on the top, you must wait at least six hours before plugging this appliance into your main cycle to, ins to ensure optimum performance. This device is cooling down after being powered for six hours. So let's open this up so you can see the inside. And it was easy to open once you got it open up the box just lifts up well that was good then it came so they either came right after i left or sometime in between me leaving all right now let's open it yes so the shelves can be adjusted i don't know but i'm this is really really nice if y'all are interested, I'll leave a link. Um, and this is the digital thermostat. <clears throat> but I know some people like to have beverage refrigerators or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is really aesthetic -y. And then I have like my snack baskets that's gonna go on top. And I finally cooled down. Let me put my hat back on. So as you've seen from the cell phone footage, it came. I'm excited. I didn't um, show y'all that, but I have like the snack baskets. I put those together and put them on top just to kind of see. But yeah, I'm surprised I only got one handicap parking spot. I mean, I would probably have designated that one that I was in as a handicap. But anyway, I'm so happy because I don't have any more like major, like large deliveries that I have to worry about. Everything else I'll just bring over when I need to, you know, when it gets closer to that time. I mean, realistically, once I get my dryer over there to kind of figure out how I want the stuff to be is when the finalization of where everything else is gonna be mounted. Um, simply because ideally I would love to have the TV and the dryers facing each other well the dryer and the TV facing each other so I might not let that stress me out not might not I'm not gonna let that stress me out realistically I'm kind of like do I even want a TV in there hey y'all so I'm home and I'm gonna end the vlog I am exhausted y'all from going to bed at like three in the morning to getting up and doing physical labor in which i don't know why that why it really bothered me as much because i mean i go to the shop and i'm i go to the shop and i'm working and all of that stuff so um 
So yes, yeah, so I'm exhausted. I'm not going to do my food video today. Plus, I'm not even hungry. I probably won't eat anything else tonight. Um, I've been really proud of myself um, since I have been doing um, 85, 90% plant-based with protein. I have actually lost 10 pounds. Um, when I The last time I got weight was... Um, probably like around surgery time so sometime in February and I was like 112 113 and I weighed myself and I reweighed myself because after I ate that chicken I was scared I was scared y'all <laughs> but I was at 201 so I'm kind of teetering with my at home scale at 201 202 I found out what the doctor's scale say um, the doctor's scale sometimes it match miles and then sometimes it doesn't so make it make sense so you know whose scale i'm going off of my scale um but yeah but i'm exhausted i am actually what i've been doing since i got home is editing yesterday's content and now i'm editing some of this morning's content this will probably be another lengthy vlog but it's okay it is okay i'm actually i'm, I'm gonna stop editing right now because i'm at a good place right now with and i cut this out of my video last week but i was talking to my friend um yoshida from norris cove because she also vlogs as well as do budget budget videos but i noticed that she was doing the same thing that i do and when i was listening to her do it i was like oh i don't really need to hear that and then i was like dang i wonder if y'all feel like that when i be talking about it <clears throat> but what i was saying was like wh what we do is we time check ourselves in our vlogs like i'll be like oh i'm six minutes in let me hurry up then i'll be like oh i'm 15 minutes in let me hurry up and it's a habit that i'm trying to catch myself to break just like i'm trying to catch myself from stop saying um 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 luckily i'm able to kind of edit out but i say um a lot so but well in my editing and i think that's what takes so long for me editing getting them little ums out and then i have dead space and then that helps cut it down but anyway but i'm not doing a time check i'm just telling y'all what my editing process is looking like right now because i do like to share my editing process and you know what it looks like because you might be an inspiring youtuber or you may be a youtuber and you are like uh i'm doing the videos but the editing i'm gonna be honest the editing is the hardest part because a lot of times when you are going back watching it like, you don't want to just upload what you film. Edit that joint. Because two things. Sometimes you be talking like I do and you be saying stuff. And then when you looking back and listening, you're like, why do I even say that? They don't need to know that. And it's not that I'm high stuff, but it just be like something stupid. Like, I think I was talking about, I was talking about, because it's always a movie that has me up. So I was talking about a movie that had me up. And then that went into, well, I like, you know, this these Marvel, and then I like this DC, and then I like um, Star Wars. I'm just like, who cares, Keisha? Shut up! <laughs> but that is the hardest part, just going through, making sure that you're taking out the little unnecessary things, taking out the stuff that's boring you just from watching it. Like, that's my that's my tip. When, it's, when you're trying to edit... If you're kind of bored with listening to yourself, not unless it's something that has some real substance to it, substance, and it has to and it has to be together, then that's something different. But if it's boring you and you're like, what the heck was I talking about? Cut it out. So I say all I have to say is that right now with everything except for this. And some other whatever but right now what i have that i'm looking in front of me i have an hour and 10 minutes worth of footage and i've already edited through 38 minutes of that so i have to upload this and then i also have did i already put that on here no i didn't put it on there um i just uploaded the stuff from when i was out at the shop so I have to add that on here as well. But that shouldn't be too... Oh no, that is a lot. 
Okay, so me adding everything else except for this piece, it's bumped it up to two hours. So out of the two hours, I have um, 38 minutes that I've edited. But that two hours will be chopped down because a lot of it is stuff that I can um, fast forward through. Some of the stuff is the placement. Um, you know, I might, like I said, chop some of it out. Um, this right now is at 11 minutes, but not a lot of this is going to be 11 minutes just because I had some pauses that I'm going to cut out like I was looking at the monitor while I was trying to figure out how many minutes this would make. But, you know, the the goal, if I can, because this is this is the caveat. So editing, I'm at, I've edited 38 minutes, but when I started, it was like, an hour and a half or maybe an hour and 45 minutes and it takes a lot of times like like getting to 30 minutes takes longer than 30 minutes to edit if that makes sense so my goal in regards to being on the road to being a full-time content creator plus a full-time hairstylist because I consider myself a full-time entrepreneur so whatever I'm doing is full time hair and this because I would like to do more with my YouTube channel um, and that's things that I've been also thinking about like what can I do to you know add other things besides this and living healthy at 50 because I probably won't cook all the time so I need to figure out what else can I add for my living healthy at 50 portion but anyway so I said out there says like I want to give myself work hours for editing because like I as I film once I'm done filming for the day I ought, I go ahead and upload it and then um, export it I mean import it directly into Wondershare I use Wondershare from Filmora I've been I've always used that I'm an HP girl so I don't have Final Cut Pro on my computer uh, but this is similar to Final Cut Pro because I do have LumaVision on my iPad, which I will never use. But anyway, so yeah, that's that. That video will be up. In order for me to be consistent with posting, I need to right now not focus on dedicated days. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, and sometimes it's those surprise videos. Like if I'm watching one of my favorite youtubers i'm like dang i wish i had a video and then won't pop up i'm like excited you know having the schedules are great i already just do a pop-up episode <laughs> got me waiting y'all let me know in the comments if it bothers you that i'm not going to stick with a schedule right now um or if you prefer the predictability of knowing when i'm going to post let me know in the comments and i don't think that i've had i it was any products or anything that I had that I need to tag. Um, if I can find links for the sunglasses that I had, I will definitely link them. Um, I love a great aviator. Um, I have a whole lot of sunglasses that I bought because I was enabled. But I really feel like I might either sell some or give some away because some of those frames, I'm just like, they ain't really me. Like, I like... It's like I like certain ones and like in the summertime I do wear more sunglasses with in different shapes and stuff. But give me an aviator for like an everyday sunglass. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this week's vlog. If so, make sure you go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And as well, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you never miss any of my videos. And most importantly, if you want to be a part of the Heartbeat Squad, drop me a heart in the comments box. That way I can properly meet you and greet you and welcome you to the crew. Okay? <laughs> I like saying that at the end. I enjoyed sharing with you all. I'm enjoying sharing, you know, all the steps of me moving in, well, preparing so I can move into my new studio the first of the month. It's it's a journey and I can't wait until it's finished to show you all the finishing product. And thanks to all of y'all who have wished me well wishes and congratulated me. It means so much. I have been where I'm at now. Well, it would have been 10 years in October. 
but I had moved suites, so they changed my lease to April. But I'm going to still give myself 10 years because I started in 2024. No. <clears throat> I started in 2014, and I'm leaving in 2024. So that's 10 years of being in business as a full-time entrepreneur of my own business versus working in somebody else's salon and paying them booth rent. Like, this is all me. All me. So this is exciting but nervous. And I cannot wait to go along the journey. Also, if you haven't checked out any of my Living Healthy at 50 videos, I'm going to leave a card up at the top as well. Make sure you check them out. I say Living Healthy at 50 because that's the stage in life that I am. But you can live healthy and you should live healthy at every stage of your life. But, you know... Sometimes we don't do that. So start living healthy today instead of tomorrow. That way we can have a healthy mental, physical, and most importantly spiritual life at whatever age we are. So check those videos out. So I'm going to go ahead and go because y'all know your girl can go. I can go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go and I love y'all and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.